today on Trisha. Rebecca and Kay are here to prove that James is the father of their children. He denied faith for three years, saying that she wasn't his. Joseph is your son! Okay. Olivia just is your minute. daughter! Just Nina. So I was sitting on the counter with a man. I never cheated thing. on you! James has a new wife, a new life, and a reputation for starting families and abandoning them. Do you believe it's a matter of time before he dumped Josie? I yeah, mean, I think it's more time that he will. And when he dies, no, I will me. not be there to help you. That's fine. I don't need your I don't need your stank either. The DNA results are in. The DNA test determined that James... Sierra is hoping that Nathaniel is her dad. When I was growing up, I believed that a different man was my father until around the age of 12. Do you think you're Sierra's father? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sierra's mom has a checkered past, and that only leads to more questions. I heard you gonna just sit there and say that she could be mad and not possibly his when you've been having sex with this man too. Might you have been so you. drunk that you don't know who fathered her at that time in your life? DNA will bring shocking results. Today on Trisha. Let's welcome Rebecca and Kay. Now, both Rebecca and Kay were involved with this man, James. And both claim to have children with him, and both agree that James has a disturbing pattern. He loves them, impregnates them, and leaves them for a much younger woman. Yeah, and even worse, he denies he's the father of their kids. Now, James is here with his new wife, Josie, to prove that Rebecca is a cheater and that her children, Joseph and Olivia, are not his. Now, before we talk with these outraged exes, yeah, let's have a look at what James and Josie had to say. I believe five-year-old Joey and three-year-old Olivia are not my kids because their mother cheated on me. My ex-wife, Rebecca, cheated on me, and I caught her. She was sitting on the kitchen counter, some guy kissing all over her and feeling her breast while the kids were running around the room. My friends showed me text messages and pictures of men entering and exiting my home when I was not there. I want all the drama and all the to stop. I'm tired of Rebecca playing her mind games. James trust runs very low because of Rebecca's constant cheating during their marriage. These children do not look nothing like me and I refuse to pay child support for children that are not mine. The kids' facial features don't add up. James has a distinct nose and those kids don't have it. If the test proves that I am the father, I want full custody of these kids because their mother neglects them and I can give them everything they need. Rebecca is a liar, a cheater, and a flat out bitch. Wow, Rebecca Kay, welcome to the show. Wow. What's got you so upset? <laughs> How can you make children and then just flip and deny them? My son is five, my years. daughter is three. He full on knows we were married when those kids were born. We were married when. The... And he denied faith for three years, saying that she wasn't his. He walked out of her life twice. Had nothing. He has nothing to do with her. So, so let me get this right. So, Kay, he was married to you first. No, I never married him. So you were. We were just in a relationship, right? And he left me. Got with Rebecca. He made what you want to call a family, I guess, with Rebecca. Right. And then left her for Josie, and now has a kid with Josie. So he goes she from needs woman to, to woman. So naive yes, and he does. stupid and realize that he's gonna do the same thing to her and leave her as well. So you were with him first? Yes, ma'am. Did he ever go back to you? Yes. Uh, yes, when he moved out of her house. He came back to you? Me and him started sleeping together. And then he came back to you? <laughs> no, I wouldn't let that sleaze ball back at my house. Yeah. Sorry, he's a piece of Wow. You don't sign a flipping birth certificate of two children and then off and not and want to be with him because with that skank of a wife. He's with Josie now. Yes. And you think that's why he's denying your children? Yes. The sad oh. thing, how I knew he was with her when she was before she was 18. I believe she was 16 or 17, one of the two. Whoa. Yes. It was Mother's Day. Right. He texts me, like my new girlfriends, I want a divorce. It's a picture of, of his new wife and some other girl. So has he seen the children? Has he been he involved in that? He has not life? seen the kids since October 16th of 2012 because he's a piece of
deadbeat. Does he give the money? Has he ever given you money? He or? gives me child support because he himself is court ordered to give me child support. Does he send birthday cards, Christmas no. cards, gifts? I haven't got. I might have gotten a birthday card for the girls last year, but he's missed his son's fourth birthday and fifth birthday. And he, he now says that they're not his children. He yep. says you cheated on him. Did I, you ever cheat on him? No. If he wants I to man up that. and grow a set of balls and be a father, be a father. If not, walk the hell away. Because I don't need to of him. It's stressful. It's stressful. Now, I've got four kids at home. The precious time is being taken away from my kids to be here. My six-year-old hates him. Hates him? Oh, yeah. When he calls, she hangs and up so on him because she doesn't want to talk to wow. me. Let me come to you, Kay. You have a little girl with him. Yes, Does that's he me. Is he involved in her life? No. Money? No, not at all. Nothing? He sends nothing. Does he doubt her, too? <laughs> he has in the past. I've got to the point where I won't tell her that he says he's sending anything because she sits there and cries. Sitting there waiting for them. Now, yes. let, let me put this to you. Are you keeping him away from the children? No, we want him to be a father. If he can man up and be responsible and be a dad. that he can see her in the state that we live in because she's in school. Right. Which I don't find unreasonable. Like, she has to go to school. Um, if he wants to call her, I told him to call with an unblocked number so that I have a way to call back if I miss the call. Right. Or to let him know if something is wrong with her. He won't call with, unless his number is blocked so that I can't call back. Who threw who out? I kicked him out. And I also was aware that he was screwing a girl who lived down the street. I was tired of his cheating ass, so I kicked his ass out. Whoa. I was seven and a half months pregnant. I wasn't dealing with his And why did you get rid of him? We split up because he was abusive. He's verbally abusive. What did He's he say? verbally and physical, physically abusive. He hit you? He was hitting her at one point, too. She was coming to my house crying. So what are you yes. saying to... Josie better watch out. Is that what you're saying? She'll never open She'll up never open those pretty eyes. eyes of her, hers, because she's a very beautiful girl. She has a good head on her shoulders, and what she doesn't need is a sleazeball man like that. All right, well, I think it's time we actually meet Mr. Love him and Leave him and his new bride. Please welcome <laughs> James and Josie. Yeah. I don't I, think so. You I, ain't you seen are. the It seems to be a bit of a pattern here, James. You go from one woman, then you deny the child, then you accept the child, then you go to the next one. Why do you deny Trish, her children? I never denied Faith is my daughter. No. Yes, she always, you did. No, 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 she that. always say I do. Why don't you guys man up and own your you own responsibilities that you guys have done on your own? What money from him. Let's go through one more time. Josie. Josie. Just one moment. one moment. Why do you have a problem saying that her two children are yours? Because she's cheating on me. I've caught her. I've got what text messages. What did you messages. see? What did you see? I walked in when I came home from work early. Saw her, saw her sitting on the counter with a man kissing her and feeling her breasts while the kids are running around. And well, I home. had already filed for divorce, James. Joseph is your son. Okay. Olivia is your daughter. Just Man up. All right. Okay. I am man. Hey, man. Let me ask him something. Let me come to you, Josie. How I'm much of this do you know? I have no clue because you know. What do you think? Hang on. Because uh, these ladies seem to have a message for you. Watch out. The same thing's going to happen to you. I honestly don't see a pattern. If I would have seen a pattern, I would have left them. Why do you think they got rid of him? That's between them. No, but I why do you think? Surely, I mean, if it was me and a guy comes to me and hang on, you've got two exes here uh, giving him grief and he, he got thrown out by both of them. Isn't part of the whole thing of a relationship saying, what's going on here? What, what, what... I think, honestly, both of the relationships were unhealthy to begin with. So how do you know yours is healthy? It's more of a communication thing. Oh, they can't communicate? No. Anytime they try to communicate, all it is is fighting. Let me come to James. This DNA test for these two children, what happens if the DNA test comes back and proves you are the dad? If it proves that I'm the dad, I've already got the papers drawn up, and I see why this is involved. What, what place? Cust emergency custody from taken from her. Whoa, 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 whoa! But these children don't know you from a, a block yes, of wood. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Who oh, knows Jimmy. I'm their dad? Hang I on. have talked to them on, minute, on whoa, whoa, Facebook. Whoa, whoa. So, on Facebook. On Skype. Oh. When's the last time you physically saw these children? Bef 
when they was at my house. How October, long ago? 2012. 2012. And I moved up to take care of my dad. As we do this show, it's 2014. How old are these children? They're five and three. So the children last saw you when they were three and one. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we will get the DNA results. Stay tuned. <laughs> Next. All I've heard from you is excuses. And I see people on this stage <laughs> when they're in their 20s and they don't buy those excuses. <laughs> Later, denied for decades. So how are you going to just sit there and say, that she could be mad and not possibly his, and you've been having sex with this man too. Who knows who my daddy is? You know what I'm saying? Does anyone this know? I can be a Daddy's in denial. I just want you to be up and be there, done. Today on Trisha. <laughs> Welcome back. Before the break. We were talking with Rebecca and Kay and their ex, James. Now, both of them claims that you claim that James is a deadbeat dad who habitually creates families only to abandon them for a younger woman, Josie. Do you believe it's a matter of time before he dumps Josie? I yeah, mean, if he lives more well, time, he will. And when he does, no, I, didn't I will feel you guys. sorry you for you, but I will me. not be there to help you. Okay. That's fine. I don't need <laughs> ass. I don't need your stank ass. Oh, what since what when am I a stank? Let me tell you. I've only been with three men in my life. That is it. What can you say about that? Sure as hell ain't the truth there. Okay. Um, how old are you, can I ask? 21. 21. And why are you with a 30-something-year-old man? Because age doesn't matter. As long as you're happy, that's all that counts. DNA results before it goes any way. I want to open them, Trish. James and Olivia. So, uh... I want to open them. You would like to open them? So you, you think open. neither are kids are yours? No. I would prefer if she opened them, to be honest. No, I would open them. You. Oh, me. I would open them. I would feel safer if she um, opened them, because I don't trust no. you. She's still going to see the results. She's still going to see the results. It doesn't matter whether he opens it or not. It doesn't matter. Okay. Do you, hey, listen. You have doubts about these children, and yet you say if they are yours, you want to go for full custody. Yes, because I love these yeah, kids with all my heart. You don't know these children. You don't know what colour them. they like or anything. How is not right. seeing them? I've stayed with you for a long them. time, knowing that you was cheating on me. I've stuff never cheated kids. on you! All right. I actually down. loved your stupid ass when we were together. Nah. Yeah, right. Yeah. Let's calm you down. Let's open up. When I started going right. on pain. Interested yes. in sniping about the past and painting yourself as a victim, or really finding out who the father of the ch whether you're the father of these children, and when you do find out, doing what's best for the child and not you. Yes, I'm going to do what's best for my child, for yeah. these children, if they're mine. So I will open the envelope. Okay. The DNA test determined that James is the father of Olivia. I told you! I told you! Okay, right. I told you! That's you're one. You're ready to lose your kids. You're ready to lose your kids. Just a minute. No, she ain't gonna have me either. You're not, you can't be involved in it, because of course they're with her and you go to the house. They have a stable home. They have a stable home for your information. I don't want to know about that. I don't want to know about that. Okay, let's open the second envelope. The DNA test determined that James is the father of I Joseph. Told you. Okay, James. now let's cool down. No, 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 no. Let's just calm down. Here's the thing: you may not have been, you probably haven't been around children as long as I have, or even these ladies have. Let me tell you something: two years, or a year, or even a month, not seeing a child at that age, is a huge chunk of their lives. Now, you're right. You could create all sorts of havoc and cause us, the taxpayers, all sorts of grief by dragging her through the courts and getting custody of those children. She's if you do me. so, if you do so, please do, for those little kids, do me the honour, for my sake, in getting in contact with your local mental health association because those children <laughs> will be... A, they will end up there. If you take a child from mummy, whoop, and put that, those children with strangers and sweetheart, you're a kid yourself and you are a stranger to them right now. James, That's the I fact. I want you to be a dad. Okay. I they need you. Then why, why did you throw me out of the house for? Why I didn't do nothing you wrong to you? You were sleeping with the girl down the street. No, I wasn't. 
You never defended yourself. I have taken the test. All right, all right. It's uh, whatever happened. I don't, the past is the past. I just want you to man up and be their dad. They need you. Right. Yeah, no, just a minute. Oh. Just sweetheart, just a minute. Number one, all I've heard from you is excuses, and I see. People on this stage, when they're in their 20s, and they don't buy those excuses. They end up angry and hurt and pained. And while you're here, sit down with our counsellor, get those contact details and what have you. But it's not, she won't let me talk to them. You are the adult. You will have to initiate the contact every single time. And guess what? Children need a pattern in life, don't they? So it's not like, I might ring, I might send a card. You do it at a time, a regular time, all you the time. You just missed his birthday. He had a made her cake for his birthday for Christmas. He learned how to ride his bike without training wheels. Oh, 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 thank you, you. thank you. I'm thank you. Thank you. you on no, thank you. Fine. Just a minute, he just a minute. Calm down, sweetheart. Calm down, sweetheart. All right, calm down, sweetheart. Here's the answer. Little hint. I'm sorry. I would like the opportunity to do those things in the future and I will stay in contact. Not, it's not my fault, it's your fault. Just say sorry and let's move on in a nice, quiet voice. All right. I want him so, to be a father. So sit down with our counsellor and work out how it looks. All right, sweetheart. So let me send you two ladies out that way. You go out through the, the tea, this big, strong tea, and uh, you go out that way and sit down with our counsellor and work out how everyone can get together one way or another. Good luck. We'll be right back. Next. When I was growing up, I believed that a different man was my father until around the age of 12. Until a man named Nathaniel blurted out to me, he may be my daddy. Later. So how are you going to just sit there and say that she could be mine and not possibly his and you've been having sex with this man too? So who knows who my daddy is? You know what I'm saying? Does anyone it's know? I can be a Trisha. This is Sierra. Sierra claims she suffered a horrible childhood at the hands of her mother, Ronnie. Now, after years of abuse, neglect, and feeling unloved, Sierra says she's desperate to know if this man, Nathaniel, is her biological dad. She says Nathaniel is her second chance at happiness. But unfortunately, Nathaniel claims he walked in on Sierra's mother with another man and has been denying Sierra since the day she was born. Now, before we speak to Sierra, let's hear some of her story. When I was growing up, I believed that a different man was my father until around the age of 12. Until a man named Nathaniel blurted out to me, he may be my daddy. I need to know once and for all if Nathaniel is really my biological father. And I need to know why my mother lied to me about who my real father is. My mother has really never been there for me like a mother is really supposed to. When I was younger, one of my sisters had opened the box of cake mix and they had ate some of them. And my mom came home and asked us who ate the cake mix. My sister said me by me being a chunky one when I was little. And she sat me down and poured cake mix in a bowl, put water in there and told me to eat it. Nobody was there when I gave birth to my first baby. I thought that was a special moment for me, but it wasn't because I did it by myself. No one came, no one called the hospital and asked me how was I doing. Nobody did nothing. Hopefully this test proved that he is my father and hopefully we could get help with my mom so she could be more in my life. If Nathaniel was not my dad, I really can't do too much but be hurt. But the most I could do is just tell him I love him. Wow. So, Sierra, who were you told was your dad when you were a little one? 
Well, specifically, no one told me. As I was growing up, my mother was married to another man. Right. And as me growing up, I developed, like, a certain, you know, a mother, father, a, a daughter, and a father. So you, you just assumed that the man your mom was married to was your dad? Right. So but, did, did your mom ever say anything to make you think differently? No, but I realized as I got older, by me having a Hispanic last name, as people see, I'm nowhere near Hispanic. I'm a beautiful black woman. So it's like... Oh, so this guy was Hispanic? <laughs> yes. So, so when is the first time that you heard another guy's name in relation, you know, to being your dad? Um, at the age of about 12 or 13, he blurted out, like, I'm your daddy. So this, this guy was, you knew this guy, as it were, Nathaniel, because yes. you knew him as your sister's daddy. Yes. And he suddenly comes out with it that he's your daddy as well. Yes. What was your childhood like with your mum, Ronnie? It was, she used to beat me with extension cords and... Okay. <laughs> that still hurts. <laughs> Yes, it hurts because I feel like if you love me, then why would you do me the way that you did me? Did she, she hold you and tell you that she loved you or anything like that? Not really. She came in and she came in the well, I came in the house from school and she told me to get naked. And I'm like, why what did I do? I was just crying and she pulled out the extension cord and started whooping me with it. Are you angry um, with her? I'm angry with her. I'm upset. I'm hurt by her. Why do you think your mother's got a problem with you? Um, cause I'm fat. Does she say that? She, a couple of times she, she did. She made, you know, made comments and statements. Like what? She, what kind of things did she say that hurt you? She'll say, you need to lose some weight, you're too big. So if Nathaniel is your dad, what do you want to happen? I would like for him to be in my life and hopefully for this new baby, he'll be there, you know. As a granddad? Yeah, as a grandfather. And but just, what if he isn't your dad? I could accept it and just... But what does that say about your mom, if he's not your dad? Then that's, that's crazy. That's, why would you have me around these different men and I don't know who my father really is? So, look, I think it's time we meet Sierra's mother, Ronnie. Please welcome Ronnie. Hi, Ronnie. Where am I sitting? Right there. Why did you move the chair over there? Because I feel like... I don't know. Nathan belongs here. So. so are you closer to Nathan than you are your own mother? Yeah, me and him talk more than me and my mom do. So, Ronnie, your, your daughter said some pretty harsh things about you. Do you yes, want... she did. What do you she want to say to her? She said a lot of lies. I know I'm already overweight myself. However, she is only 21. She is unhealthy. She has already has high blood pressure. She already has diabetes. But she, how do you know that? These you don't know things. what I have. You have she not is even not spent taking time care with me. You don't of even know. her body. I only get it when I'm pregnant. I only get you it when I'm pregnant. You just get high blood pressure when you're pregnant. Oh, but you, so you do. Do. That's, that's why my baby was. That's why my baby was born early. By me having preeclampsia due to my blood pressure going up. Right. It went back down after I gave birth. Do you have problems? Other problems with your daughter's lifestyle? How can you be a lesbian and pregnant? That doesn't even, that's like an oxymoron. That doesn't even go well together. So how many children do you have? I'm on my second baby. Your second baby, are you with a partner? Yeah. That's her so lifestyle. So the girlfriend does not have sperm, let me tell you. Okay, that has so to happen don't matter, with a man. But that's my decision, I'm grown. And it is if yours. If I wanna be gay, I could be gay. That's just crazy. What about what Sierra said about the past? She got very teary about you beating her with an extension cord, is that right? Is that what you told me? There's only so much you can do far as discipline. But beating them is not one. <laughs> I can say I know better today yeah. how to discipline a child than I did, than I did then. Ronnie, I want to come back to the reason that Sierra's here in the first place. Whose name is on the now, birth certificate? Nathaniel? Nathaniel's name is not on the birth certificate. Why not? No, we not. weren't in a relationship anymore with something. We just went, we just had sex and I got pregnant. And so I then I got into another relationship mm -hmm. with someone else and who he... is Hispanic. So you why did. put this man on my birth certificate and he was not my because, father? Because Nathan gave me the permission to do so. So was he trying to get out of child support? Yes, I'm that is exactly what, what he said. So Ronnie, do you actually, do you seriously believe that Nathaniel is Sierra's father? I do. So who was the other man, the third man? 
I don't Good know man. a third man. My father told me he walked in on my mama doing somebody else, and D he said that that man could have been my father. You know so, what? That is a bald faced lie if he told you that. Well, let's, he's let's, never meet walked. let's meet him and hear his side of the story. All right. Please welcome Nathaniel. Next. So how is you going to just sit there and say that she could be mad and not possibly his and you've been having sex with this man too? So who knows who my daddy is? You know what I'm saying? Does, does anyone this know? Thing, Later, the DNA results are in. You are the fuck. You're a fuck too. In denial. I just want you to be an open be that done. Today on Trisha. When I was growing up, I believed that a different man was my father until around the age of 12. Until a man named Nathaniel blurted out to me, he may be my daddy. I need to know once and for all if Nathaniel is really my biological father. My mother has really never been there for me like a mother is really supposed to. Hopefully this test proved that he is my father. Whose name? is on the now, birth certificate. Nathaniel? Nathaniel's name is not on the birth certificate. So why put this man on my birth certificate and he was not my because father? Because Nathan gave me the permission to do so. Do you seriously believe that Nathaniel is Sierra's father? I do. Let's meet him and hear his side of the story. All right. Please welcome Nathaniel. Hold on, let's get this straight right now. Number one, you just told a lie. And it's have a seat. Nathaniel, you need to have a seat. Nathaniel, is it true that you think another guy is in the frame to be? Yeah, because the, the, the night I went over out, the night that she was conceived, it was another man laying in the bed playing with my daughter. I got mad and made him get out the house. And I stayed at the house and kept my daughter while she went to work. When she came back from work, that's when we had sex. But I mean straight. What? What? That's yeah. not... <laughs> don't, come, don't, don't come, don't come tell him no Okay, more. so wait a minute. Put it out Hold, there up. Too. Hold up. So now you're saying that we, that is the day we conceive Sierra. Well, it's a we possibility. Could, we, he said that man we, was dark, see, so let's see. Catch yourself up in all your lies. We lives. had that sex that catch night. Catch yourself up in I all your lies. I mean, there ain't lives. no lie. So how is you going to just sit there and say that she could be mad and not possibly his when you've been having sex with this man, too? So how who you knows, knows who my daddy, daddy is? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Does anyone it's know? It's a possibility I can be a daddy, but then it's a possibility that I'm not. Let me bring you back to the present day. Do you think you're Sierra's father? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sierra, Sierra has a bad disposition about herself. She don't have like none of my kids. She don't look like none of my kids. But she, she crazy just like you. Oh, who's crazy? You know really? what I'm saying? Who, why do I have to be the crazy? The same though? behavior. But the you guys be crazy because look how you did me in the, the past. So you ain't no better. But you're not no better than me. You're not no better than me. You're not no better than me. Do you think, Nathaniel, do you think that Ronnie was a good mom? No. How Ronnie do you know? was a terrible mom. I used to go to go to visit my go to visit the kids and I would get there. Ronnie wouldn't be nowhere around. The kids would be there and brought open day like playing outside by themselves. I would sit at the house and feed them and everything. Really? Yeah. You want me to tell you what you did that we didn't think? Wait, wait. I was you, a few times. So it's this true. One day I went over there to visit my kids. She was gone. I found my about her out in the backyard playing nasty with some little boy across the alley. And she yeah. wasn't nothing but about eight years old. And I told you about it. Because you told me I should have beat her down. But I did not beat him down. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth. I didn't come here. Is it? Quit Nathaniel. Quit trying to hide the truth, honey. Hey, Nathaniel. Nathaniel. You're so stuck on yourself. You think you all this. You think you missed her. Because she went you to church. She got sober, went to you church, and didn't know how to Basically. Hang on. Basically, is that's this, what it is. Would it be fair to say that back in the day, both of you were drinkers? Both oh, of yeah. us was. Both of us were alcoholics. Drink. Let me ask you now. Let me ask you now. What is going to happen if this DNA test comes back and says Sierra is your daughter? Will anything change? I'm still in love. I've been her daddy for all these years. Why should I change? You now? have not been her father. I just thought you have not been her father. You do it. All right. Let's come to the DNA results. Sierra, I don't know what the DNA results say, but let me just tell you something. If you choose to have a child, because we're not animals that we just get pregnant. Right. If you choose to have a child... That's uh, my responsibility. Both children are. Yes. And they will learn from the environment they're in. So I don't know. I only have the, both of your stories for what 
a terrible environment you say you were brought up in. But if you don't want to do to your child what you say your parents have done to you, you will need to have to change your attitude and your whole... But I do. My baby is well taken care of. My baby is fine. I don't, I mean, my attitude towards my child, I do, I do not act like neither of... You know, I don't act like... I don't How many times I had to get on you about the way you talk to that baby? Do you want to find out if Nathaniel yes. is your, your father or not? Do you want to open this? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's see what it says. Next, the DNA results are in. <laughs> Come here. Come here. No, no. Come here. Who I get out of me? In denial. I just want you to bend up and be that done. Today on Trisha. When I was growing up, I believed that a different man was my father until the, around the age of 12. I need to know once and for all if Nathaniel is really my biological father. Whose name is on the no. birth certificate? Nathaniel's name is not on the birth certificate. So why put this man on my birth certificate and he was not my because father? Because Nathan gave me the permission to do so. Do you seriously believe that Nathaniel is Sierra's father? I do. Nathaniel, is it true that you think another guy is in the frame to be? Yes, you're going to just sit there and say that she could be mad and not possibly his and you've been having sex with this man too. Do you think you're Sierra's father? Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Do you want to find out if Nathaniel yes. is your, your father or not? Do you want to open this? <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's see what it says. I want to know too. <laughs> he is not my father. Oh. <laughs> Come here. Come here. No, no, Come here. no. Who I am your father. I am your father. No. And she lied. I'm and still she your lied. father. She said it wasn't nobody I'm else. Your I'm still daddy. gonna love you. So is my father. I'm still my your daddy father. Is my daddy. Do you know who her no, father no. is? No. Come on. No. You no, don't know. No, no idea. Who if it's not Nathan. No. I don't know. No. no. She lied. So, okay, let her calm down for a minute. You're saying you have no idea who her father could be. Was that the time you were drinking? <laughs> yes, it was. I don't know. Let's hear this. Daddy. Let's find out. I'm trying to help you find out, but you're going to have to... I know you've had a shot, but you need to calm down. Were you drinking at that time? Yes. Do you know who you were associating with? I know who I was associated with, but, I mean, nobody that I was intimately well, involved with. Might you have been so... Might, might well, you, yeah, it was somebody. Hang on. Was might you have been so me. drunk that you don't know who fathered her at that time in your life? Could it have been when you were drunk? It could have been. Nathaniel, well, are you saying you'll still be there for of her? Of course. I love that baby and I love Sierra. I got Sierra's number in my phone. We talk every day. I'm not gonna stop because it is. I'm still gonna be there for her. So what happens now? What do you do now to try and find out who her father is? She don't I don't know. know. Do so anything. It's, it's not that because she I don't have any other suspects. Know. And she it is what it know. is. She I don't know. know. I right, just said exactly. I don't know. Exactly. His name was never on the birth certificate, so now it's all good. But you Nothing said that, you that don't make it right. That don't make it right. That don't make it right. That I mean, don't make it right. I mean, my position. Say he is not the father. She just gonna stop looking. I'm grown like she yeah, said anyway. Yeah, stop looking because I don't know so where I, I look. Know. I'm 21 years old and don't know who my father is. Well, so hang on. on. No, I'm not gonna move on because that's not. You are just a minute. Hey, hey, hey. Just a minute. Hey, listen. I hear. what... You're 21 and you don't know who your father is. I am 56 and I have no idea who my father is, where he is, what race he is. And guess what? I can't sit here and shout at my mama because my mama is dead. She has passed on. So I don't know where the hell I come from. But you know what? I know I can make a better life for my children. Thank you. And I will do that.
Thank you. You can sit here and cry until Don't next cry. year. Come it's not going to change, sister. sweetheart. It's <laughs> not. I know. And she sat here and said she wasn't with nobody else, which means he told the truth and she lied. But what I'm saying is, I don't even have a mother at the moment to shout at or ask questions. And the more you shout and scream and rail against your mother and bring up the past, the less likely you are to get any truth. That's a fact. That's the way it is. So what you gonna but do? You, you, you don't know how to find that guy that was at the house that night? It wasn't even him. So if I you do know, you know what him, then you know who it was. Because I know I never even slept Ronnie, with the person Ronnie, you're referring Ronnie, to. Ronnie, can I suggest well, what you do? Hang on, just a minute. Know. Let me. Know who's your child yeah, well, is. yeah, I'd love to know who my father is, but it doesn't affect the. It doesn't have to affect the future. No, it don't. If you've got a strong male as a role model for your children, you know. It's better than absolutely nothing. Somebody's extending the hand of, of friendship. <laughs> what you might want to do is maybe you can get in contact with friends, associates that you had at that I'm time. I'm not doing it. I can tell you that right now. Not doing it. Not now you want to see why we call her a bad you. mother? That's why we call you a bad mother. Because you don't give a damn about this girl. It's done. It's over. It's the past. We have to move forward. Know, I'm moving it's, it's forward. Still, you're right, exactly. I mean, That's I'm still bad. I still think she got a right to know what a real daddy is, don't you? I don't feel bad. You're so bad. Don't you got a right to know what a real daddy is? not the father. She's going to keep shouting at you. She's going to keep shouting at you. It's not going to get anywhere. She don't even have tears hey, on her face. She doesn't like to talk about. Exactly, because this man is not my It's over. You can shout here forever. And it's not Gonna working. It's going to change a thing. It's it not would not change So, Ronnie, these that's, that's what I'm saying. Just give her some space you her for a while. Give her a hug or something. Oh. Give your baby a hug. Resolve this. Be mommy and daughter. I don't want no hug. You don't want a hug? No. No. Do it to me. Because no. Ain't nothing going to change. Ain't nothing going to change. All right. Don't force. But what are you? What is it that you are exactly angry about? I'm angry how you was never there for me. Oh, wow. She doesn't want it to work? Here's what conflict resolution is. If you have conflict and people want resolution, I can do something. But right now, Sierra needs to be angry. That's where she wants to stay. So there's nothing to resolve at this time. I'm sorry. Okay. So all you could, if you really want to reach out to her, it will mean going down a painful path and looking into your past and making some phone calls and, and seeking that information out. If you can't do that, then I guess you need to give her some space and stay away from her, because this will keep going round oh, and round. On and on and on. I'm sick so, and tired of it myself. So, so, all right. Nathaniel, take... I'm fed up with it. Nathaniel, be with her. She this needs you there. Come here, give okay. me a hug. OK. This We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Next, what happened after the camera stopped rolling? Updates on today's guests. You are the fan. You're up on stage. Danny's in denial. I just want you to be alive. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. We wanted to give you updates on the stories that appeared on today's episode. And as always, we waited until the last minute before this show aired to get you the most accurate information. So here's today's Trisha air date update. Sierra no longer speaks to her mother, Ronnie. She feels her mother kept secrets and played her like a fool on national television. Nathaniel has tried reaching out to Sierra, but she says she's just too hurt to pick up the phone. Sierra hasn't given up searching for her biological father. Rebecca claims James is now calling the children more frequently, but has yet to see them or pay any child support. The kids are reluctant to speak with James since he isn't a consistent figure in their everyday lives. As far as James's promise of filing for full custody, that has yet to happen, and Rebecca doubts it ever will. We'll be right back. <laughs> Danny's in denial. I just want you to be up and be there, Dad! Today on Trisha. I want to thank you for joining me today. Uh, join me tomorrow. More DNA, more lie detectors, more truth. See you then. <laughs>